Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verses 18 through 22, where it is written. Now, John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to him, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them, can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with, bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it, the new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and so are the skins." But one puts new wine into fresh wineskins. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, in the Jewish daily life and spiritual discipline, one of their disciplines was fasting. Jesus and his followers are not fasting. Aha, Jesus! Are you guys uh, not pious enough? Why are you guys not fasting? Well, Jesus is like, let me lay it down for you, lay it down for you. Heaven and earth are coming together. I don't say that as a metaphor. I mean that in myself, I am God, I am man. From the moment I was incarnate in the womb of my mother, I've been bringing salvation to everyone. Salvation that will be complete upon my death on the cross and my rising from the dead. God and man are here. It's the ultimate celebration. And the metaphor is so keen. Imagine you're going to a wedding feast and you say to the bride and groom, in honor of you, my dear bride and groom, you have this lovely feast of uh, flame and yon and lobster tail and so on. Nah, I'm not going to uh, disrespect you by eating the, your dinner. I'll, just, I'll take the bread and water uh, and I'll just have rolls and water. That makes no sense. You're at a wedding, you know, have that flame and yawn, have that lobster tail. And that's the metaphor Jesus is using. I'm the biggest thing ever. I am God become man. I, your God, have come to you in the flesh to save you, and not just you, but everyone. This is a cause for joy. This is a cause for rejoicing. How do you rejoice? No, I don't want to have fun. Fun's bad. Come on, I'm God. I'm here with you. You know, there'll be a time when Jesus is departed between his death, between his resurrection. Yes, then there's weeping. Then there's fasting. Then there's some hard stuff. God doesn't pull any punches. He doesn't say life will always be easy. But he doesn't say life will always be miserable either. When Jesus Christ is with us, no matter what the external circumstance is, it is a time of joy. And I say that with great seriousness. Because you look at around the news today, it's not anything that want you, want you the news today is not anything that would want you to go out and dance a merry jig. Bad stuff's going on all the time. But even in these times we can rejoice that Jesus Christ our Lord, in his word, when he where he's in his word, when we read it, he speaks to us. And when we take of his body and blood at the altar, he comes personally to us. The baptismal font, we're reminded that we are his. And so, yes, there's times in our life where we should be somber and serious and ascetic. But when Jesus Christ is concerned, we can be joyful. For he, our Lord and God, is always with us. And while life isn't always a party, in him it's not just a party. In him there's joy, there's hope. There's love, there's life, and so on. In him, there's everything we need. So during these um, difficult times, remember that. The Lord our God is with us. Let us close with prayer. Jesus, we thank you for your word, your baptism, your flesh and blood at the altar. And God, by these very things, we thank you, knowing that you will never, ever depart from us. Guide us always, Lord, in you. Amen.